Hello Scorpio and welcome to Coleman Tarot. My name is H.E. Coleman and this is going to be your reading for the month of July. It is scorching hot in California right now. That's why I'm going to bring my ponytail. It is way too hot for hair right now. Alright. Scorpio. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. And there we go. Oh, again, the two of pentacles. We just had that. And the bench of swords. Alright. Okay. There we go. And this is going to be what's hidden from you. Okay, we have the two of pentacles. And this is about um, balancing your life. Pentacles are about money, so it can be about balancing your checkbook, but it can also be anything else in your life. This can be about balancing work and home. It can be about balancing different people and relationships. It can be about balancing any different aspects of your life. Okay? So what this is saying is you're, you're, it's, it might be out of balance now. You might be working on this um, and balancing different aspects that are on the table. You're going to have to work on balancing some different things over here. Here we have the Prince of Swords, and this is traditionally the hero card. This is about somebody charging in to save the day. This could be somebody who is helping you to balance things. You could be going to a professional to balance your um, your house, your closets, um, things like that. You can be going to a professional to help balance your checkbook or any other situation. You might be having enlisting the help of a professional or someone in your family. A friend or family member can be helping you to do this. Then you have the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is somebody who gives you very harsh advice, but sometimes it's advice that you need. It might be that this person is telling you you need to balance things in your life. It can be that these two people are helping you at the same time. These are both swords. These are both intelligence. These are both people who are willing to help you to cut out the excess in your life. And they can be um, working in tandem to help you do this. Okay, here you have the Queen of Pentacles in the middle of your month. And the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is in charge of their finances. This is somebody who is very good at um, managing their life. So it can be that these people are helping you to manage your life, to manage your finances. I feel like um, people are going to be going to professionals to get help with this situation. And it's great because this is a wonderful card to have in the middle of your month. To feel like you're, you're really getting your finances under control. Balancing everything. Okay? Over here for help or hindrance, we have the Empress. Sorry, I have to be Empress. The Empress. The Empress is about, um, usually this is a card about either pregnancy or harvesting money, harvesting um, things that you've been wanting and things that you really care about that you've been looking forward to for a long time. Usually these are not small things. Usually th these are things that take a long time to get there. They take a long time to grow, which is why it's a major pregnancy card. This is in the help or hindrance category. I see it as being a big help because it's above the Prince of Swords, which is the hero card. And then you also have, it's across from the Queen of Pentacles, which is about um, doing really well with your finances. So I see this as the Empress giving you things that you love. It can be giving you, like I said, the pregnancy. It can be giving you um, a better financial situation, giving you romance. This is a great card for love as well. All right, and especially above the hero card, it can be somebody you could also be falling for one of these people that are helping you to balance your life. All right, over here we have the temperance card. And the temperance card is about um, making things fit into your life, making things fit well and being very self-disciplined, being very motivated. This person is very graceful and they are making different elements of their life fit together. So this is also about organizing. This is also about um, getting your act together, so to speak. This is about um, if somebody says, oh, I'm going to start exercising, they do it. If somebody says, I'm going to clean up this house, they do it. If somebody says, I'm going to start doing this, I'm going to start doing that, I'm going to take care of business. The temperance card is there to say that this person is very self-disciplined, okay? This person is working really hard and they're being very graceful about it, all right? And it's above the queen of swords. So this is this is probably somebody telling you that you need to um, improve in a certain area and then you do it all right and then over here your obstacle your obstacle is the five of cups and this is a card about um, being bitter 
and melancholy. The Four of Cups is more about like depression or being sad. This is more about being bitter and being a little bit angry. Being, you can either be jealous or bitter or gossiping about somebody or being negative. The cloak is negativity, okay? And the person is upset because they've spilt these three cups here. But they don't realize there's two right behind them. Because when you're looking at something negative, you don't, your viewpoint can't see the good things. So you need to take your viewpoint off the negative, take off the cloak of negativity, and then turn around. And then you'll see that there's other stuff right there. There's other opportunities. There's other relationships. There's other fulfillment. The cups are about fulfillment. So they're there. You just can't see them because you're being negative. Now, this is your obstacle. So I feel like, I feel like something happens that you're not really happy about and then somebody else comes along and gives you some harsh advice and says, well, why don't you try, um, try using a different approach, try something different, try focusing on a different area. And then you do and you're very self-disciplined about it. And by the way, the more upset you get about something, the more, um, the more motivated you are to make a change. So sometimes that's why that kind of things happen. So they usually say you have to hit rock bottom before you can pick up and start again, before you have enough drive to start again. And that's, I think that's what's happening in this situation. Something upsets you. You can't see anything positive. Somebody else comes along with the harsh advice and says, well, why don't you do something about it? And then you do, you're very self-disciplined, and then you start to balance things out. And then somebody else helps you. And then you have this great situation here where you're actually in control of your life. All right. And that's a very great place to be not only financially, but just, it's just nice to be in a situation where you're controlling your life. Okay. Over here, your outcome is the six of swords and the six of swords is someone who is being taken from a rough situation, from rough waters into a smoother, smoother situation, smoother waters. Somebody is carrying you in a boat, they're they're guiding the boat and you're in the boat and they're taking you to a smoother water place they're taking you to a better place okay so if you're if you're if you feel like you're in rough waters now and look at this look at those rough waters where the person is like in the boats and it's going back and forth and things like that this person is going to take you to smoother waters this is probably the same person as this who is taking you to smoother waters. Somebody's going to be helping you and taking you to smoother waters. Now the swords here represent painful experiences that have cut you, but they've also helped you to grow. Sorry. They've also given you more um, experience that you can then take with you. And the thing is you don't want to dump these swords right away because it's not great to carry pain with you, but it is great to carry experience with you. And you're carrying that experience to the new place. All right. And that is going to make you wiser. All right. So I'm going to get, um, let's see if there's anything else you need to know. Oh, wait. I didn't do your uh, hidden stuff. These are the things that are hidden from you. The Hierophant, which is about God, religion, or a mentor. Um, it's a life lesson where someone is helping you to learn a life lesson. And that has to do with the Queen of Swords. It also has to do with someone guiding you. And it has to do with God in the universe also looking out for you and giving you a life lesson. Okay? And these are the lessons you're taking with you. Okay. When you, when, when things happen, you grow as life goes on, you grow and that's what you take with you. Then you have the 10 of cups. Then you have the 10 of cups, which is about happiness and fulfillment. Okay. Excellent. Excellent prognosis for later. Then you have the death card, which is about transformation and growth, which is what I was just talking about. This is about growth, growing through experience. Okay, and then ending up with being more fulfilled and more happy. So this is great. Something's going to happen. You're going to be ticked about it, but it's actually going to help you to grow a lot. Okay. Here is your spiritual card for the month. The Raven. And Ravens, uh, to me, in all of my decks, Ravens are always about advice. Okay. This says magic, coincidence, and synchronistic events. So that's like fate. Okay. The Raven. Magic and fate. Awesome. Okay, so it looks like you are going to be going from rough waters to smoother waters. So this month is going to be easier for you. And this month you're going to have people giving you good advice and people coming along and helping to get you to smoother waters. Okay, have a wonderful month. Bye.